Rebecca Focus. Like my channel. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, I got this. Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Rebecca Lees and this is my YouTube channel, UX Specs, where we talk about everything user experience, instructional design, and data science related. We're going to go over to do lists today. One of the reasons I wanted to go over this is because I've noticed that while I've been in isolation and quarantine that I have had a hard time keeping myself organized. One of the ways that I had kept myself organized before was using a lot of environment changes as a way of prompting different behavior. So this has been a really good way for me to keep on track and I wanted to share these tips with you guys. So what is a to-do list? Well, it is an external memory device which allows you to be able to dump all of your thoughts into one place and then be able to organize them. A to-do list can be just a big list of items or it can be a small list of items. We can categorize it, we can prioritize it. There's a lot of different things that you can do with to-do lists. All right, so the first thing that I like to do is start out with the brain dump. If I have just a regular piece of paper, I'm going to start writing out all of the various things that I might need to do is just think about my, my day. If I get overwhelmed, then the first thing I like to do is just be able to write all of the information down into one piece of paper, just dump all of the information that I have in my brain onto that piece of paper. So I might have something like clean the dishes. Um, I might have something like continuing education sessions. Uh, I know that it's going to be disorganized at first. It's a brain dump. It's going to be like vomiting on paper. It's going to be like bleh, word vomit. <laughs> then once I've done that, I will take all of those, you know, just thoughts that I've written down and I will start to organize them into categories. You can do this a couple different ways. I like to just kind of list them into blocks. So I will put headings around the piece of paper and then just organize things under those headings. So for instance, whatever items that I need to do that are related to home, friends or family, I'll group those together. I will group the things that I need to do for my job together under work. And then when I was doing my PhD, I would chunk everything together under a school category. And then just to make sure that I was balancing myself because balance is so very important, I would just choose one thing from each category to focus on for that day. Implementing our to-do lists also allows us to be able to create a habit, create an automatic behavior, and be able to reach our goals with less effort. One of the things that I use to help me implement behaviors is a habit tracker. I like to use stickers, yeah. Boop, boop. Another thing to do lists allow you to do is be able to prioritize mindfully so you don't feel anxious at the end of the day. I find that I sleep more soundly when I have put all of my thoughts onto a piece of paper. So part two of this to-do list series is going to go over why we create to-do lists, the motivation behind it, and the science behind it. See you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment with your tips and tricks below.